like working where there are good ideas. In general, the more independent the movie, the more independent-minded the movie. The biggest challenge is always uh, squeezing blood out of a stone. And it doesn't matter how big the film is, you know, there's always problems with money. We ha we've had to, over the past uh, couple of weeks, cut back on certain scenes and combine, you know, two days into one and reduce the number of shots. Feel that? Hadn't been beaten for nine years. Seems impossible, don't it? It is impossible. So I was walking around without a pulse. But here you are. The more money, the more obligation you have to up, up, uh, appeal to the lowest common denominator, as my grandfather would call it. The less money, the more ability you have to tell a personal story or to be more courageous in your storytelling. I got an email sent to me today from the Bond company saying that Michael and I are in, basically in breach of contract because we're, um, we're taking too long to shoot, apparently. And if we don't rectify the problem immediately, all our fees are going to be frozen. Every department will tell you the schedule on this, which is crazy. And um, we just just managed to get things through on a daily basis, you know, taking things on set and the paint was still wet and just, you know, just to the last little minute, you know, would just be, would be just delivering stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we now need to clear all the uh, gear and stuff from in front of the cabin. Oh, man, I got the giggles on this film, like, so badly. The car was rocking and we're travelling along and Willem said it's, <laughs> it's like a bear, it's fucking the car. Yeah, thanks, Ben. <laughs> I'm having trouble with it myself. <laughs> it's what? It's like a bear is fucking the car. I'm so glad that was you. I'm really over it now. So. Okay. <laughs> and then Ethan, then Ethan found a um, the walkie-talkie that was inside the car, and it's it's called Bearcom. Very much, I like the trio of Ethan. Claudia and myself doing things together. It seemed like it was a, a good balance. I'd like to smack people with it. Yeah. I'd much rather make this movie uh, in our little independent way here than make it for more money and have better effects, but have the ideas stripped and dumbed down. Uh, thinking back on all the uh, the fond memories of the shoot, the one that that comes to mind the most is the Shigella outbreak. Being out on set at the cabin location and Michael's directing, we're setting up the first shot, and I look over at him, and he is whiter than normal, and just did not look good, and he's just like, I'll be right back, and he, off into the bushes, spewing away. At that point, we didn't know what it was. There was a couple other people that had similar symptoms, and we thought, oh, there's a little bit of a bug going around on set, but it was pretty fierce, and as soon as Michael uh, was hit by it, we immediately got a doctor out on set. The diagnosis comes back and it is Shigella, a bacterial disease that causes severe dysentery, which is passed uh, very easily uh, through sort of shared toilet facilities or, you know, even, uh, you know, utensils like at the catering table. And in third world countries, it's apparently the cause of death of hundreds of thousands of people a year. Is it one in five people at the moment is sick or something, yeah, it's something pretty horrendous? Pretty so immediately, as soon as the diagnosis comes through, the Australian Health Department are notified. They're lined up to come down and, and shut down the, uh, the the whole production and you know start sort of quarantining us. Well, then we're putting you in a plastic bubble yeah, right now. Bubble boy. <laughs> yeah, a bit of illness. Trying to keep them all well. I think there, there was a point where we had 50 people down. We immediately had a, uh, you know, a doctor on set full time. We got uh, antibiotics that were sort of couriered from uh, the warehouse immediately. We bought 
every pump pack of, uh, of antibacterial hand wash available on the Gold Coast. Everybody was, uh, you know, wearing masks, and miraculously, we kept shooting. So what we're doing is we're doing a drive out here, Willem's car out through the gates. It got to the point where, you know, we had been very fortunate and the cast had not uh, come down with uh, the Shigella. We had a night shoot scheduled and we had a location which was a winery and it involved a, a scene with, uh, with Ethan and Claudia and they're both showing symptoms of Shigella. Now Ethan, who has never missed a day on set, didn't want to let the brothers down, which was very commendable. Many people could not sort of even stand up and they had to perform on camera. They actually made it through the, the whole morning, by the afternoon, they had just had it. They couldn't go on. So Ethan's sick? Ethan's very sick. And we sort of carried a, a set piece around with us for, for you know, the rest of the shoot. And then in the end, you know, did all the reverses back on Claudia and Ethan uh, at another time and place and made it work, thankfully.